man has gone out of his way to make his home unique. As Jay Vilwalk reports, he's created a piece of the Old West in Old Pinellas Park. Can I help you, partner? Right Shut it, Red Eye. Coming up, partner. You from around these parts, partner? You talk too much. Who is that guy? If you know what's good for you, you don't want to mess around with him. The bad hombres just won't leave me alone. They almost had me cornered in a gulch. They were behind me. They were in front Jay, of me. They Jay, 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 wait what? a minute. Wait, what? wake up. It's 1993. You'll have to forgive my confusion, but Bill Spencer's saloon is a step back. Way back. You'd expect to see the James brothers walk in any minute, but this is circa 1993, keep reminding yourself. It's not the Old West, it's Pinellas Park. Spencer, who owns Spencer's Western World Store, wanted to build the saloon in one of his stores. City of Pinellas Park said, no, I don't think so. Now, if I can't do it there, I'm going to do it in my own home. He gathered wood from an old barn, searched antiques in Georgia, got wallpaper from Chicago. The real plush, the bedello-looking red that you see in a lot of the 1890s scenes. Same firm sold wallpaper used in the Northern Exposure TV show. In the bar, of course. Spencer hoped that his bar might be used someday as a movie set or for commercials. You'd have to travel a long way in a westerly direction to find its equal. Sippin' Red Eye in Spencer's Gunslinger Saloon. Javel Walk 44 News at 10. In, of all places, Old Pinellas Park. And Jay says if Spencer gets tired of his Western saloon, he can always retire to his fabulous 50s room, complete with a 55 Chevy.